How's it going dudes? And welcome back to Rain's Web. Yeah, we're picking up right where we left off. So... Your family and childhood? Tell me about your family and childhood. Wow. What? You choose a topic I can't care to talk the least about. Try again. Uh... Your friends? Tell me about your friends. Ah, uh, friends. Yes? I don't know how I feel about them. Actually, I'm not in the mood to talk about them. Tell me about yours. Um... I have some good friends. Brad's one, and Emily. You know them. There are a couple of guys that I met sometimes. But mostly it's just me and Brad. We're pretty close. Good for you. He's a great guy. Her, her previous relationships? Dating anyone right now? Say no, please say no. No, it's been almost a year now. Yes! There were some guys. Some were great, some weren't. And... I'm not in the mood to elaborate. Alright. You? Same. Been about a year. I've only been in a couple of relationships. But, I mean, they were, they were fine. Nothing worth talking about. I'm not in the mood to elaborate. <laughs> hey, I wasn't the one who brought it up. Alright, alright. I should talk about her, about, I should talk to her about something else, something she likes. Uh, what's your passions? My passions? Wow. You ask such loaded questions. Well, I, that's okay, I'm kidding. At least you're not just making small talk. I'm terrible at small talk. I know, Chris. You start talking about fireflies. Hey! Anyway, what was it? Oh, my passions. I don't know. I don't think I have any. Hobbies, things you do in your spare time. Hmm. I listen to a lot of music. I like that. What kind? Indie rock. Mostly. Trip hop. Sometimes. No, I listen to all, all sorts of... All sorts, really. I even indulge in some boy bands once in a while. Ah, really? Play anything? I own a guitar. Never got past the basic chords. So yeah, I guess that's all. Hmm. What do you want in life? Jeez, I don't know what I want in life. I thought about it, but I just don't know. I can't look past my everyday life for the most part. You know, the whole me trying to, to get as far away from home as possible. It, that's all I can, can see as of now. That's all I wanted, in order to feel normal. I don't know about happy. Maybe once I move, I can think about things that be, be that would that make me happy. Tell me what inspires you. Inspires me? Nothing really. Not everyone feels inspired the way you do. You know. Is there nothing that even says, even say excites you? No, not really. When I was a kid, maybe. Hard. I don't, I do like how you ask me these questions though. And I, I like listening to you talk about these things. I don't know what 
keeps you inspired, but it makes me happy. So what about you? What keeps you inspired? Man. Well, settle down then. This might take a while. I've never tried describing it to anyone before. Do I have to read it all? It's just an amazing feeling. Rare things trigger it. Mostly nature, or music, or film. For a, for a second, the, those things make me a give me a tiny glimpse of something really, really beautiful. Ugh, I know I probably sound crazy, but it's like a vision. It's like a portal to another world. Like a life I lived once. Maybe in another dimension. It's like falling in love, in a, in a way. You know. It just feels different. Magical. Nostalgic almost. Or like a dream. You know how dreams fe feel beautiful. I just feel that most of the time, I don't know. All I know is it's, be it's beauty overwhelms me. It's just so darn beautiful that I am. And that's what keeps me inspired. Darn. Did I really just tell her all that? Chris, wow. You have a connection with a dream world? And there you are feeling insecure about the stupidest, most irrelevant things? Like, honestly, cares about things like being popular when you got that. Hey, Russ is always greener and all that, right? Well then, it's a pity that we value the things we don't have. Seriously. You really should be an artist or something. I don't know what you're up to starting a business. Maybe... Maybe... But... I'm good at this business stuff. And hey, it pays the bills. Can't argue with that. You know, talking about all this, it was actually kind of exciting. Maybe you could inspire me. Inspire me. I'd love to. Nobody's really interested in this stuff usually. I'm very interested. Oh hey, look, it's dark now. It's been dark for a while. The stars have come out. Whoa! <laughs> Dad, you're incredible for getting me here. Look at the stars. Look at them. Look at the water, Chris. What? Whoa, the water is glowing. Why is the water glowing? Try walking in it. Whoa. This is a nice green. I'm just gonna leave it on here for a second. Okay, what do I do? Oh, I actually have to... It's following me. <laughs> Alright, come back. I think we should be heading back now. Really? Now you're worried about going back? It's getting dark. I don't want you to drown or something. Not before I get to know you better at least. Come on. Alright, let's go. I can't run. No, wait. You know what? I'll regret if I don't do this now. Huh? Do what, Chris? I... I think I want to swim in this water. No, wait, what? This is gonna be so freaking cool. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh, this is amazing. This, this is... D Diane? Whoa. What in the world? And we're here. Wherever here is. After that, Diane disappeared from his life once again. Chris didn't hear from her for weeks. So obviously Chris couldn't believe it when she asked him to come over to her place all of a sudden. That was the day with Diane, really. And it... That unpredictability that drew Chris in, I think. Hey, Chris. Diane. Finally, I was beginning to wonder if you were ever going to call again. Of course I was. Why don't you just give me your number? This is so inconvenient. I always have to wait. I enjoy it. Anyway, there's one, no one at my place, and I just ordered pizza. Too much of it. You want to come over and help? Uh, yeah, sure. Really? Yeah, I don't know why I'm taking the risk, but just come before I change my mind. Risk? Um, so where's your place? How do I get there? Well, I can't believe I'm actually here. Shut up. I never met anyone. I never meet anyone at home. I don't know why I called you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure your parents would like me. Yeah, sure. I love this. What? Making coffee? Th yes. Moments like these. It's right outside. We're just chilling, making coffee in this warm kitchen. Plus, we got pizza on the way. So, stuff that's kind of normal. Doesn't make it any less beautiful. Do you always make observations like this? I... not always. Only around you, I think. Is it annoying? No, not at all. I like it. It's just kind of new for me. Oh, and we've got... Okay. Uh, what's your exams? When do you have your exams? Exams? The ones you've been prepared for, so you can study abroad. Oh right, that. There's a few more points. They go. I'm not sure if I really want to take them though. Why not? I'm only taking this so I can get away from this place. But I don't know. Maybe there's a better way. Check out that travel book I gave you. Did you read the travel book I gave you? I didn't really get the time to. I didn't flip through it though. It looks really interesting. I'm just waiting for the right moment so that I can enjoy it. You should read it. It's great. Then you could really make a plan and work out how to execute it. Yeah, I will. 
I'll be moving to Pineview soon. I've been looking around and I found a couple of good places I can move into. The hotel I'm planning to start there. That should also work out. I've met the planning committee and checked out a few possible sites too. That's great. What do you think you'll move? Next month, hopefully. I really admire you, you know? What? You go out and you do the things you want. You don't just let dreams remain dreams. I admire that. Thanks? Wait, that wasn't really a question. Where's the bloody pizza? Where's the bloody pizza? I can't wait anymore. Ow! Wow. I don't normally... get to just lounge about and eat pizza for hours. I can get used to this. Why don't you know? Oh... You know, just stuff. Anyway, thank you for com- Thank you for coming. I mean, I'm glad you did. Oh! It's kind of weird, their eyes are wide open for that. Was it bad? Have I done something wrong? Diane? This is gonna get in a bit close for me. You shouldn't. Hey, you kissed me. I'm not joking. These are mine. You said it yourself. The more you get to know people, the less you can stand them. That was different. That was before I, I met you. You don't know about Chris. What you do, you won't like who you who you'll find. What are you thinking? Tell me what's on your mind. No, I don't want to. I think I think you should leave. Diane, come on, please, Chris. My parents are probably on their way home anyway. When will I see you? When will I see you next? Next, the uh, the. I don't know. I'll call you. Okay. Okay. Oh wow! After that, Chris and Diane. We get to meet more frequently. At the same time, I started to see him a lot less as well. When did you see him next? Uh, detective? I need to be somewhere. Else in a bit. Is it okay if we pick this up again tomorrow? Ah, of course. Thanks for your time, Brad. I think he just wants to grieve for- I don't think he has anywhere else to go. He just- I think he just needs to have time to grieve. Yeah, no problem. Well, that was that. And he- Yep. Okay, that was weird. Well, I guess that was it. I guess all it's left for us to do is to go to the hospital and check out the autopsy. But we'll do that in the next video. If you dudes enjoyed, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. With all that said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.